Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Lush Life video. I'm your host Leon, joined here by the illustrious Mrs. Lush. Always a pleasure to be here, joined by you guys. Listen, we did recently, about a week ago, a classic Jubilee video where we rated guys based on their Tinder profiles. Well, they did, and we followed along and had some fun with it. We There's a them. what's that? We rated them. Yeah, as well. it was it was more our ratings are obviously much more important. There's another iteration of that. We're taking it a step further, getting a little more NSFW where we're going uh, from the Tinder profiles into dudes and their skibbies. And this chick's basically gonna rate. She's I have gonna to admit, I see that all the time and I forget what it stands for. And I feel like I knew it at one point, but I've seen it, but I just don't know. Skibbies? No, NSFW. Oh. <laughs> It's like, wait, why you don't have a skibby? Is skibby's a boomer? That's a boomer word, right? Does it like, I feel like- Skibbies are definitely a boomer word. I feel like, like my grandmother would have said that. Definitely Rest in peace. That's what my grandmother would have called them. Bloomers, oh, bloomers. F's in the chat if you don't know what skibbies are. I mean, you know what they are in context, but NSFW, you don't know what NSFW- I feel like you I, had to most, I had to Google it one time and I look, I, every time I see it, I forget. And I'm like, yeah, most, whatever. You were the most innocent I'll person alive. Like you understand is. what it's insinuating, right? I do, but I just can't put the words together. Not safe for work. I definitely didn't know that. I never Googled it. <laughs> Anyways, let's jump right into it. Uh, blind dating six men based on their bodies, and apparently, so she's in her skivvies. As Wait a well. minute, what? That's, That's like idea. sketch. Why is she in her skivvies? I mean, it's gotta. It's only fair. Why if she's gonna judge the men based on? We asked Layton to speed date five men. She must pit. So this Hi, is classic I Jubilee, am like. Layton Hegard. I'm from Minneapolis. I make music. I do environmental do. science. And I am a model, personally. <laughs> I make music, I do environmental science, and I'm a model. Sounds very Republican. Sounds very Gen Z. <laughs> Just kidding, yeah. Quite the opposite. Environmental science and music, yeah, she's probably big on TikTok, I would imagine. So yeah, but that was to say, like once the guys, if she's rating the guys on their body, they gotta see what they're in for as well, right? So there's a show, it, just sidebar, I know we've watched three seconds of the video. <laughs> I forget what someone turned me on Third to it. Sidebar. It's it's based out of the UK. It's literally exactly this. It's like blind dating. This is definitely where they stole the concept from, but it's completely nude. What? And it's on YouTube. Someone sent me a link. There's a link to a YouTube. There's a link to YouTube videos of this show. Is it both ways? Like guys, sometimes it's, the, it's guys and sometimes it's girls? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Really Full blown nudity where they raise the curtain from the bottom up. Obviously we can't do that here, but hopefully YouTube allows underwear. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you never yeah, know. I know I'm like, I'm really slender. And a lot of that is due to a medical condition that I had in this past year. So I got really sick and I lost about 25 pounds, I think. Hmm. I mean, I'm definitely kind of self-conscious because I mean, it changed a lot. I think personality is much more important than body type. I mean, obviously it helps if you're attracted to someone and you think that they look good. Sure. Are you ready to see some body? I'm really ready to see some bodies. I mean, they're self-conscious, but you're still able to like <laughs> go onto a show like this. Like, that's like mind that's like you're not that self-conscious, no. right? Like there's self-conscious and then there's like paralyzingly, like yeah. you could never even fathom. Like doing would something never like take this. a t-shirt off at the beach type yeah. of self-conscious. Yes. I'm self-conscious and quirky, but also also snap. snap here's my snap, photos. Here's my entire body for millions of people to see on the internet. Self-conscious my ass. Wait, I mean, you know what you like going into this. Oh, Sorry, first of all. Sorry, millionth sidebar. Yeah. What, just men's body type? Yeah, blah, like blah, you, or either way, like you know what you like going into it. Like you like it. short, rotund, not big shoulders. No, definitely like shoulders are number one for me. That's <laughs> yeah. what I was gonna say. Oh, well this is funny because round one is feet, which is, I feel like. I not, mean, not all a I big care thing on your feet is that your nails are trimmed yeah. and your feet are clean. I'll tell you what, Mrs. Lush. Cleanliness is a body type. If you come over don't my, be dirty. If you come over to <laughs> my household and take your shoes off and you got clangers for nails, you're you're getting kicked. Out. To the, you're getting kicked to the curb. Don't. And hilariously, I Take those very rarely cut my toes. I very rarely cut my toes. Yeah, and I call you out on so it. So I'm always coughing flack for having un uh, curated, uncurated, unmanicured <laughs> feet. And then every time I clip them, like once a month, I'm always like, "Honey, look at my feet." You don't have to tell me the clippings are everywhere. Okay, let's watch the show. <laughs> wow, nice. <laughs> That's so weird. Ten out of ten. Wow. Okay, contestant one. Let's see. You have some marks on your toenails. What's that from? Uh, what do you do? Probably from me dropping like tools and other random. Oh, things. blue okay. collar. I like to woodwork and stuff. A manly man. So I, like, I like that too. I like to woodwork. A couple times. You like that a man. Uh, more than a couple. Oh yeah. That sounds <laughs> painful. Solid, solid feet. Okay. 
Love that. Thank you. Okay, contestant two. Um, hello. Feet as well, looking great. Um, do you have a couple oh marks God, on feet meme. one of your toes? Did something happen? She's investigating. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm investigating. There's not My much man's I can go on. I need to look like a right pedicure, and I had some color put on. Oh. Um, the those are of me those aren't bad. I feel like that. Back. I mean, feet are just. Um, I'm sorry, but feet are just like. I know I'm not kink shaming here. People who are obsessed with feet. Some yeah, 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 yeah. I just there's nothing about feet that are appealing to me. Male, female. Agree. You're you stand on them all day. You step and shit with them like. They you sweat. Get, they yeah. They're just, uh, whatever. Agree. However, from from my perspective, like I can understand when like when a woman gets like with the heels and the feminine and the feet and the nails, like you, feet can also look good for me on women, like when they're like your wife who just exactly, had a pedicure. Exactly, exactly. Uh, but certainly this not the morning. first thing I would look at. Testing three, okay, little dance. I see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, love that. It looks like you. Let me back that up. Okay. If you've seen bad feet, then you appreciate good feet. <laughs> <laughs> sure. You cut your toenails like very sharp. Wow. Um, yeah, I am. I am. They, I am trash at cutting my toenails. That looks you know? like that would like. Maybe hurt he's really bad if someone like got a big belly and kick it. What happened? <laughs> I, you know what's funny? You can tell that just by looking at someone from the shins down. I feel like that guy's heavier than everybody. That's my else. guess because yeah. it's hard to get it down there and. He, so believe me, you guys don't have that. When I was over three hundred, I used to I used to get out of breath cutting my nails. <laughs> it's probably why I don't. I have PTSD. I just am crap at cutting, cutting my, my own toenails. toenails. <laughs> okay, okay, um, a little scary, but good. Okay, contestant four. Okay, I love the little. Oh, shy, a little shy foot. Tell me about the weird. toenails. That was weird. Uh, um, they match my hands, so on one hand it's like short, and then the other one's long. Devin's. So it's like guitar, so it looked weird. Oh, I love Only it. having like not so matching painted nails. Sets, you know? What do you say, guitar? Yeah. So. You just gotta be coordinated. So yeah, it's like, like, like an evil musician type. type. It's, I just went the full, like the full set on you. Here. Well, unfortunately, I'm not matching. That's a. Just <laughs> at five. Hello. You have big feet. Thanks. Um, okay. You know what they say? Oh, he knew that was coming. What? Oh, he said it. He said, you know what they say? No marks or anything. Fumbled on it. So what do you do for work? Uh, work? I'm trying to become ask. a registered nurse, but right now I'm a certified nurse assistant in a hospital. Run. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't really drop tools on my feet. Tough time. Last Not right. her, him. Run. Toe dancing Run. Yeah. are doing at the ends. You have long. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's what they say. Holy sh! Uh, you say that, that a lot? <laughs> what? People say that a lot to you. Like just, a... My wife just got smoked by an editing trick. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! god. Imagine the schlong! I believed it! Oh my lord. You should see it from this angle. I. Oh. oh. <laughs> well. Wait, what? That, um, that, that, that wasn't meant to be. All right. Anyways. <laughs> everything um, well, yeah, feet, everything with feet always gets overtly sexual just because, like, the biggest meme of all time. For you? Wow. Thank you so much. Much for that. So you have to eliminate someone based on their feet. Yeah, each round, like it goes up a little bit more, and you eliminate them based on like more body you see of them. Okay, so I'm gonna eliminate someone, the guy with the painted <gasps> Just toenails. Of oh, toenails. What? Really? Not you're not a big fan of the painted toenails? Like, no, guys? I mean that's okay with you if that's your style, but I'm not into it. Interesting. What about men with painted fingernails? No, you thanks. you about to get. Cancelled by Gen Z right now. Painted fate like Carl. I'm not shaming it or Minecraft it's a bad Carl, thing. Mr. Beast Carl, like uh 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 corpse husband. Like that's that's the whole aesthetic now is like emo swept hair, painted nail. I mean that's been around emo. for a long time. Emo's been around for a hot it's minute. It's becoming more it's becoming repopularized with TikTok. In gender fluidity, right? Like nails, yeah, no nail, I, yeah. That's fine. But she's old school. She likes it mainly, man. She wants bunions on the hands, a little chip nail from the hammer swinging, you know what I'm saying? A little. Just keep them trimmed and clean. A little That's callus it. from guitar playing, or in my case, a little callus from playing too many video games. <laughs> I thought we'd at least make it to my underwear I'm first, so you know? Sorry. I wore the narwhal ones just for you. Yeah. Oh my god, I am. I love the narwhal. Well, we were right about that. I missed out. I missed out. I, missed out. Yeah. Yeah, I nice am so sorry. It's okay, you know. It, it's all right, you know. He right. seems like a lovely you. dude, though. Thanks, Mr. Narwhal. Do you like the book? Never uh, judge uh, someone based on feet. I'm glad people have feet. <laughs> Shout out to walking. <laughs> Legs. I would wow. crush this round. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Oh, and type of underwear is an interesting idea. choice yeah. too. Yeah, my man on the left was like, I'm gonna go tight briefs to get a little package in there. Like yeah, there's no yeah, way yeah. they didn't know what they were getting into. Everyone else, 
Look at how number three is standing, dude. Like, you're, uh, yeah, you're, it's, you're, me, it's you're, making me uncomfortable. You're out, bro. Like you. That's painted toenails, do do? isn't it? Uh, yes, it probably is. Yeah, and it's making me very uncomfortable. Like, wow, dude. Talk about like he. he I know he you're just, naked. I get like, it. It's <laughs> very uncomfortable to be in this situation. I'm sure, I know, but, I know. Whoa, but you know like, what you're getting into. Together, this I is think. so weird. You're damn right. It's weird. Okay. Oh, underwear. Who's oh. The best underwear? Profile, huh? I think number two. Okay. Who's the best underwear? I'd say number two. Wow. You're right. Okay. I, would I know. Do you guys have like a preferred body type? <laughs> And One's on the right. Like, here's another question. So, I like boxers or briefs, right? This is an age old. Oh my gosh, I know. So, growing up, like high school, when I was much heavier, it was always boxers because like briefs weren't made as well back then. I don't know. You just like the baggier, but now as so an adult, like the guy the on the end. Yeah, like the the like bag Lucy years. Goosey? I can't imagine wearing that stuff anymore. Like Just Lucy Goosey. in the breeze. Yeah, Lucy Goosey. But no, it's got to be briefs made out of like a nice material. Uh, but wait, this aren't video those is considered boxer by, briefs? Oh, Boxer briefs? Boxer shorts. No, those are boxer shorts. Yes. Like what you wear and what number two guy has boxer on. Boxer briefs, yeah. Yes. So that's why it's boxers. Boxer, boxer briefs. shorts versus boxer okay, briefs, it. yeah. Boxer shorts are, those need to be put in the ground. Six feet under, never to come back. It's I don't know, like pants briefs. are tighter nowadays too. So like True. when you're wearing boxer shorts, how do you, don't they like crinkle up and uh, big show time. in back your pants? In, but then, when I used to wear those back in the day, I was wearing you my were in Jankos. Jankos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Didn't matter. Didn't matter. Partner, and also, like, how do you feel about your own body as well? I would probably prefer an athletic body type, um, simply because Pair I like of to do a lot of he's got, like, he's activities. On, like, I'm confident in my body. Designer. I care more about what it can do and not what it. Oh, just really kidding! Number two like. is painted nails. Oh, good answer. He's Love the best underwear, so I'm glad I didn't kick him out. <laughs> <laughs> how do I take care of my body? I love no, but number th in a commercial. I wait, number two, right? Eat is the one with the good underwear. No, but he he didn't have the nails. He said, I think it's still number three. Hold on. Whatever. Well, I think. What do you eat? My favorite food is Thai food. Ooh. So it is. Like it. The body oh. type I'm attracted to is a more curvy type. It's important to have that attraction. But three has the, the painted matters feet, matters a lot though. more after that. Mm -hmm. I'm very confident with my body. Oh, yeah. I just don't really care no. what other people think of my I'm body confused. because I like my body like however it is. Mm -hmm. And question for they you. They all have their shit painted, I don't know. Um, what's your favorite body part on a guy? <laughs> Dick! Favorite body part Sorry. on a guy. <laughs> Whoa, honey. Shoulders. If they say, I feel like you just can tell so much about a person from their eyes. That used to actually be like a lot more. That is such a cliche answer, isn't it? Yes, let me look deep into your eyes. Maybe, I, but I guess, I, sure, I guess anything would be cliche. Chest, shoulders, eyes. Fit, like maybe like 20. Shoulders is cliche. No, probably not. Wrestle for like the junior Olympic team. The and yeah. I just like sing songs and draw on people. So I'm like way skinnier and I had to get comfortable with like, this see, like, could, yeah, see, that's the change in my own body. So I don't really have a preference in nails. body type. Like as long as um, like, let's say you just care for yourself or like you care about how you look or like you try to stay healthy. Like that's all that matters to me. Like as long as you. <laughs> He's like, I don't mind if you're fat. Just don't be fat. <laughs> He's just basically the nice way to say that. I think it's so weird. You kind of have to you have to tiptoe around the subject, right? It's like it's such a topical, like uh, primitive way to judge people, like just on the surface. And now these days, you have to be so careful about how you do it, understandably, because it's it's a sensitive subject for so many people. Uh, but this show, ever all the episodes I've watched in the show where they kind of like touch on these very topical, uh, you know, vanity-driven subjects, everyone is always so careful with how they answer it, right? You're confident in your own body. I don't really go to the, like the gym, but I mean, if my friends want to go, like I'll go with them. I'm confident in my body. So like I, I played basketball growing up, you know, ever since I was a little kid and I got into working out around seventh grade and like strength and conditioning training. So, you can so Scott, then why the hell are you wearing boxer <laughs> shorts, bro? Those things are horrendous. Um, and they look but, like But, you know, I, huge. I, I really don't have like two specific preferences. I think the face matters the most. You mentioned something about uh, you lost 25 pounds. Yeah. Um, good question. I had a medical mess up, like some doctors kind of medically messed up on me Ooh. with some medication. Basically, I was in the ICU about a month and a half ago. I got off the medication I what that story and got is. better. So, nice. yeah, I guess that's... I'm, I'm glad you're feeling better. What do you think? Oh God, it could be anything. I know, there's no way to know. Medical mess up or accidental overdose? Who knows, who knows? Thank you, yeah. Medical. Cheers to being alive, love it. <laughs> Seems like a, nah. 
Okay, everyone was great. Get rid of the boxer shorts. Hard I'm sorry. To eliminate. She's getting rid of five. I'm gonna do no, because he definitely has a like, well, decent body wise. Yeah. I, he is most athletic. Oh, she got rid of the. Thus far. Love that we're meeting this way. Okay. Hello. Okay, it's freezing. You have a really nice petite body. It's lovely. Thank you. Oh, you yeah, just I'm gave sorry. it up for the guy. I know. Wow. I think. All the guys in the back are like, all right, all right, cool. All right, cool. few. Oh, yeah. Number three, the third one. Huh. The best feet, though. Hey. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'll give you a hug. Okay, I'm cold. Oh, is that is cold. <laughs> I'm all warm. Yeah, they should probably make it a little warm in there. Yeah. Oh, there he goes, long hair. Nice. And now scene. you get most of the picture, um, minus the face. Love it. All right, so I'm going to ask you guys to all do a little dance move. So she's... What? Oh. Hey, wow. she's Stop definitely into like the skinnier musician <laughs> types, it feels like. Really? Feels like, although the dude on the right, I guess, could still be the. Everybody should do that when they meet someone. Um, <laughs> that was... Tap dance. Wait, what? <laughs> I mean, what am I going to do? Ballet? Do your tattoos have meanings? This tattoo is a sunflower with just some plants around it. <laughs> Um, so no. It's not too deep, but sunflowers are my favorite flower, and every time I look at them, they just make me feel happy. So just like a reminder to myself to just be happy. Oops. And don't always strive to be happy in life. You have a lot of tattoos. Very deep. Um, it's my job. I know, it's your job. <laughs> what? He's got like three, dude. What are you talking about? He's got actually two visible tattoos. <laughs> what, uh, what inspired you to get into it? Um, the white one's so cool. Yeah, so it's like... A How does tattoo? that work? Yeah, you just do white ink instead of black ink. Uh, my first tattoo is on my hand. I get them when I travel, so like a travel log. So like they're all from different places on my arms and legs. Travel we literally musician. can't see like it here. Travel log? I think that's awesome. I know. I was like, like what? I've seen white skin. tattoos Okay, before. number three. I have no two, but on darker yeah, skin. Yeah, no tattoos. I'm sorry. Right. Like, that's okay. I don't have tattoos. He's light. fair. He's definitely, I, don't, I have no idea actually, which is why I look in his body, like what ethnicity he might be. I have no idea. Either. You know, Asian parents, they don't allow it, but you know, maybe one day. Asian Solid parents, he just gave legs. up the ethnicity. Um, yeah. Body. You look super fit and you look strong, which is always strong. a plus too. What would you guys do to comfort me if I was really sad? Oh dear. One thing that I like to do when I'm sad is create actionable steps as to like how to feel better. Um, like for example, clean your room or. Um, Did you just say one one thing I like to do is create actionable steps to. What would you guys do okay. to comfort me if I was really sad? One thing that I like to do when I'm sad is create actionable steps as to like how to feel better. Nobody. Um, like for example, clean your room. Absolutely not, dude. Just sit down with some food that you shouldn't be eating and watch television for like eight hours and then go to bed and wake up and hope the day is better. And when it's not, inevitably get into the vicious cycle of doing that for months at a time. And then, and then go on obese? Lexapro. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, things that make you feel good, so. I definitely like huddle you and listen to you. Oh and um, I try to like make you feel more comfortable. I'd probably I'm just dying. like be there, listen. It was hard to listen to. I don't know it's, why that I'm sounded dying. so cringy. Even her asking the question, I you died. You don't want to be like, well, I guess some people want to be cuddled when they're sad. No, I like the, the guy that said you clean your room. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, honestly, if you want to cheer up Mrs. Lush, just anything cleaning related. Pick up a crumb on the floor, yep. vacuum something that doesn't even need to be vacuumed. No, but like if I'm feeling just a certain kind of way. walk around with a vacuum, she'll be. I want to be, I want to like clean. Yeah, well your sadness. It makes me feel better. Comes from uncleanliness 98% of the time. <laughs> Pretty much. And then maybe hold on to the advice until later. Like, comfortable. I'd probably just like be there, listen, and maybe hold on to the advice until later, like all the emotions are fled through, and then later like come back go. to it. There you Everyone's go. so nice. It's hard. This sucks. Um, I think I'm gonna eliminate number one. Bye bye. Yeah, just because <laughs> I don't know. There's there's She's like She's keeping no like sad, like reason. like the, the, the way he was standing. I just thought the other ones like yeah, yeah his body language his is body very language interesting. Is very... Not in a bad way. You were also really funny too. Yeah. Great body. Yeah. You have a great body. <laughs> great body. You. You're really pretty so too. Uncomfortable. Thank you. It's so uncomfortable. So uncomfortable. Who's she gone with? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna eliminate number one. Oh, she went with boxer shorts, Close, dude. Though. I can. <sighs> Hi. Hey, how are you? Super nice to meet you. Like, not for his underwear Wait, choice, I can tell you that. Negative. <laughs> Wait, did you see his dreads from the curtain? I briefly saw it. Oh, okay. I, I, I thought that. you were just yeah. predicting that. His body is like literally a story. Huh. Decent looking dude. 
But based on the Hello. body language, that guy had to go. You. I'm Leighton. Good, yeah, nice to meet you. I'm yeah. Scott. Nice to see you outside of the. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Looks yeah, tall, guess, too, uh, compared to the other guys. On picnic date and oh, yeah. Well. Yes. We're getting matching tattoos. She picked the winner. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Shoulders, biceps. Yeah, he's got Abs the, don't hurt. And he's tall. Looking pretty fit. I think that's tall. Right? Yeah. We're he's both got a nice face. <laughs> for the first time. What do you think of each other seeing each other now? I mean, I think you're beautiful. Score. I think wow. he's very Thank handsome. He has so like a much. great smile. Yeah, he does. No, you yeah. Look great too. It's Agreed. so weird basing everything off. I mean, everyone I think looks great. Yay, go on a date. Yeah. Yeah. Show numbers? us the follow up video. Cool. I'll follow you back, maybe. No. <laughs> I love that. You're just like, mm, maybe not. Awesome. Imagine the oh, steak. Oh, you're popular. Shit, dude, 76k followers. Damn, girl, let's go. <laughs> Thanks, man. On what? That's All right, yeah. Well, I mean, she, she does. Can. Yeah, I got a measly, measly, measly 2k. <laughs> that is the world we live in now, right? Yeah. How many followers you got? Ah. <laughs> uh... Layton, you done good. I just what? really want the follow up. I really want to know if they went on a date. Legend has it, they uh, are married now. I saw that in the subtext of the video, actually. That's a lie. Not true at all, but I think she made a pretty good choice. I agree. And I appreciate you guys for joining us on this edition of like, let's judge a bunch of random strangers based on their body, which is always strange, but hey. It's... If it was the other way around, would we have done this? <laughs> uh, they've done videos, I think, the other way around. Would we have? No, oh, I don't know. I'd feel a lot more uncomfortable doing it. I don't feel uncomfortable. Personally. Well, yeah, of course you don't, but I, I would have trouble wanting to do that. I, you know. Yeah. Some things don't need to be shared. Interesting. Uh, yeah, you know. But that's it. We'll be back uh, shortly with a new video. We appreciate and love you guys and hope your New Year's going well. And we'll see you soon.